phi divided by g plus j omega c. So R value is given two ohms, right? So that's why it is substituted as it is two plus j omega means two pi f. So two pi into f means ten power one gigahertz. One gigahertz means ten power nine. And then L L value is it is given eight nano henry per meter. So nano means ten power minus nine. So eight into ten power minus nine. By g, g value is given 0.5 milli mos per meter. Milli means 10 power of minus 3. So that's why 0.5 into 10 power of minus 3 plus again j omega j 2 pi f is again you have to substitute 10 power of 9 and capacitance value is given 0.23 picofarad. Pico means 10 power of minus 12. So that's why 0.23 Into 10 power of minus 12. So this is in rectangular form. Both numerator and denominator are in rectangular form. So here it was converted into polar form. In calculator, we can convert this rectangular form x plus j y, x plus j y. We can convert it into polar form r at an angle of theta. R at an angle of In calculator, by using calculator, you can convert polar to rectangle, rectangular to polar conversion. So here, this rectangular is converted. So if you multiply and substitute, you will get this value. For numerator, it is 50.31 at an angle of 87.72 degrees. Similarly, the denominator also, you can convert it into polar form. It is given 15.29. Into 10 power of minus 4 at an angle of 70.91 degrees. So division and multiplication, division and multiplication are easy to carry in polar form. Are easy to calculate in polar form. Whereas addition and subtraction, addition and subtraction are easy to do the calculations in rectangular form rectangular form division and multiplication are easy in polar form addition and subtraction are easy in rectangular form so as here we are having the two complex numbers in division so that's why we are converting it into this rectangular into polar so two rectangular two polar forms if one is r1 at an angle of theta1 the other one is r2 At an angle of theta two, so this result is nothing but you can take r one by r two. The angle will be theta one minus theta two. So that's why here first you have to find r one by r two value, r one by r two value, and then you have to take square root, square root of that value. So it will give eighteen one eighty one point three nine. So whereas when coming to angle, if you have square root, if you have square root of theta, it is equivalent to theta by two. So for angle, you have to take division. For angle, you have to take division. So here you will be getting if you subtract. 70 from 87, so you will get around 17. So 17 by 2, you have to take 17 by 2. So that's why here it is some 8.40. So it will be 17 point something. So that's why if you you should not take square root for the angle. It is only you have to divide the angle when you have square root. So here you you will have if you subtract these two, you will get around seventeen point something or say sixteen point something. So if you divide with two that angle, you will get eighty eight point four zero. So again, if you convert this polar form to rectangular form, so this is you will get characteristic impedance. So R not plus J. X not R not plus J X not R not plus J 
x naught so this polar to rectangular form you have to be familiar in your calculator so this is a very simple and straight forward problem simply you have to substitute the given values in the formula and again the propagation constant propagation constant is nothing but square root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c so here we are dividing here we are multiplying here we are multiplying so again that's why these are converted it into polar form so whatever you got the results when converting this rectangular to polar and similarly this rectangular to polar you can straight away substitute here so when multi multiplying two polar numbers when multiplying two polar numbers r1 at an angle of theta1 if you multiply with another complex number which is in polar form r2 at an angle of theta2 so the result will be r1 r2 coming to angle it will be theta1 plus theta2 simply you have to add the angle so that's why here one angle is 87 the other angle is 70 the other angle is 70 so if you add it will be 157 as these two are 72 and 91 okay sir So, so these R one R two, this is R one, and this is R two, and this is theta one, and this is theta two. So here also, the angle you have to divide by two while taking the root. So one fifty eight. 0.63 by 2 will give you 79.31. So this is the corresponding for r. You have to take square root. For r, you have to take square root. So again, you have to you can convert back to rectangle form. You can convert back to rectangle form. so it is a simple straight forward problem everyone should be able to do so is it clear or any doubt is it clear if you like the video please share like and subscribe hit the bell icon to get latest video update